Hey guys, welcome to another Patreon requested episode and this one is for Matt Roberts. We will be breaking down Arithmophobia's intro in this episode. The drumming patterns may seem totally random, but they are actually just built off three smaller chord patterns, which I will explain in the rest of this episode, so keep watching. It's difficult to think of the whole body of this intro as being in 4-4, but that's actually what it is. The simple melody at the beginning sets up the 4-4, and it stays there amidst the flurry of odd phrases. Those odd phrases go on for 8 bars before finally resolving. They can seem random, but there are actually a few patterns prominently used by Matt Gaskar. The first of these patterns is in 13, and it is built with three smaller patterns. The first pattern is a six stroke row. Let's call this A. The second is an alternate double modified with kick drum. Let's call this B. The last pattern is a pattern of three. We'll call this C. Together they sound like this. The second pattern is in 7, built with two smaller core patterns. The same modified alternate double used in pattern 1. The pattern of 3 modified with kick drum. Let's call this pattern D. And when played in a 7-8 loop, The third and final pattern is in 10, but you can also think of it being in 5. And it is built with the same two small core patterns from pattern 2. The modified alternate double and the modified pattern of 3 played twice. Finally, let's take a look at how those patterns fit in to the 4-4 structure of arithmophobia. We start with pattern 1 played 4 times, pattern 2 played once, pattern 3 twice, pattern 2 twice, pattern 3 thrice, and finish it by playing another pattern of 3 and 2 singles. We can also break them down into just the core patterns and the pattern structure looks like this.
That's all for this episode. If you like what you see here and want to support me, please hit subscribe and join the Art of Drumming faction on Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you at the next episode.